Hey everyone and welcome to the Mark 10 mission. It's wonderful that you are here to encounter Jesus in his holy word, in prayer and in song. Today we are celebrating the presentation of Jesus in the temple. This is a feast day in the church and it comes 40 days after Christmas. It commemorates the moment when Mary and Joseph took the baby Jesus to the great temple in Jerusalem to be presented before God. In the gospel today, we'll hear about the amazing encounters they had when they arrived there. It's time for us to begin. Make sure you are comfortable, still, and your heart is ready to listen to the words of the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the day came for them to be purified as laid down by the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, observing what stands written in the law of the Lord Every firstborn male must be consecrated to the Lord and also to offer in sacrifice, in accordance with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now in Jerusalem, there was a man called Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. He looked forward to Israel's comforting and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God. And he said, Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace, just as you promised, because my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for all the nations to see, a light to enlighten the pagans and the glory of your people Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi everyone, Sister Therese here. Happy Feast of the Presentation. Today is a beautiful feast day in the church. We remember the day when Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus into the temple in Jerusalem to present him to God the Father. This is what every Jewish family did with their firstborn son. It was a way of remembering that this child was a gift from God and belonged to him in a special way. It's amazing how close God has come to us. Jesus lived a human life, and he was like us in every way except sin. I like to imagine the crowds of people that Jesus Mary and Joseph would have passed on their way to the temple. These crowds had no idea that the Son of God was passing right by them. Now, let's look at someone in this gospel passage who is extraordinary, the man Simeon. He was a man whose whole heart was focused on God. He loved him more than anything else. And God had made an amazing promise to Simeon that he wouldn't die until he saw the promised Messiah. People had been waiting for Jesus for a very, very long time. And on this particular day, we can imagine Simeon waking up and realizing that this day was going to be different than every other day. The Holy Spirit moved his heart to go into the temple. He must have been filled with such anticipation like many other people, he had been waiting his whole life for Jesus to come. 
Simeon walks into the temple and he quietly waits, carefully watching everyone who enters the temple. And then suddenly he sees Mary and Joseph enter, holding the baby Jesus. He knows this baby is the Messiah. Simeon walks up and takes Jesus into his arms. And he is so full of joy that he basically says, God, now I am at peace. You have kept your promise. So what does this have to do with us? What can we learn from Simeon? That Jesus brings us peace. I have a question for you. I want you to look deep into your heart right now. What is your heart like today? Are you feeling anxious or sad? Maybe you're looking forward to something or you feel unsure of how something will go. Each of us are completely unique and unrepeatable, but there is something that we all have in common. We want to be happy, to be at peace in our heart. And the strange thing is we often run around looking for happiness in everything else but God. We think we'll find happiness if we have the right group of friends, or if we get the highest mark on our work at school, or whenever we'll have our next ice cream. Now, good friends in school are important, and I like ice cream, but only God can give us a happiness that will last forever. Jesus says in the Bible, my peace I give to you. And he's also saying this to you right now. If we want our hearts to be truly at peace, like Simeon, let's give God a chance. Let's present our hearts to him today. Close to him, we'll find the peace that the world cannot give. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I invite you to close your eyes and be still. Jesus is here with you. Jesus, you always want to pour out your peace and happiness into my life. Fill me with your peace. Are there any parts of my life where I am worried or unsure? I lay them before you, Jesus. Is there anyone I know who needs to be filled with your peace and love? I present them to you, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your love is amazing, steady and unchanging. Your love is a mountain, firm beneath my feet. Your love is a mystery, how you gently lift me. When I am surrounded, your love carries me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Makes me sing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your love makes me sing. Your love is surprising, I can feel it rising. All the joy that's growing deep inside of me. Every time I see you, all your goodness shines through. I can feel this 
Your Mark 10 mission is to be aware of any moments this week when you feel worried or even upset. In those moments, turn to Jesus and invite Him to fill you with His peace and take care of everything. Thank you for joining us today on the Mark 10 mission and celebrating the feast of the presentation of the Lord. What a moment that was when Simeon was filled with the Holy Spirit and made that amazing announcement. We pray that you too are filled with the same Spirit this week and experience the peace of God in your life. We can't wait to pray with you again next time. But until then, goodbye and God bless.